Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, so I've got a 20 by 20 inch canvas. I've got a base colour that I'm using from Windsor & Newton, which is powder blue. So a different colour to what I've used before. And then my colour palette consists of just a few colours. I've got a Windsor Violet. I've got a deep turquoise. I have a magenta. And I've also got Pebeo's Iridescent Gold and some Titanium White. And they're the colours I'm going to use for this creation. So I'm going to get the powder blue down on my base and I'll talk you through the technique that I'm going to do. So all my paints are mixed with just water. So paint and water. And it's about one part paint to one part water consistency that I'm using. So a Dutch pour consistency. I've laid out my base and I'm going to basically puddle those colours in the middle and blow out into a flower design. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I probably shouldn't have tweaked it and I probably shouldn't have changed this design halfway through. But please bear with me because I know a lot of you, you write to me and you say things didn't go right, I was really frustrated, I didn't know what to do, I had to scrape my canvas and all of that kind of thing. And I just want to say I get you, I relate, I so relate and every design that you see doesn't always turn out the way that I thought it was going to do. So let's go with this one. And I will show you how I progress this design. And I think quite a few of you will be shouting at me through the screen and saying, no, don't do that. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe you're doing this, this and this. So let's just have a little bit of fun. Let's tweak the design. That's why I've called this the evolving flower. And it is a surprise because the final result I'm actually really happy with. There was a bit of regret as I was going through. But let's just blow this out and you can see where I go with this creation. I really do love how these colours infuse together and although it's not a colour palette that I would normally choose, I think it works really well. Now it's probably at this point that I should have said to myself, Mark, this is actually okay. You're doing okay. Maybe just tweak it slightly. But let's just see what I do next. So yeah, I decided to blow it out a little bit more. And what I started to do was blow over the sides. And if I'm honest, I think this is probably where I lost my vision. <laughs> this is where I kind of lost what I was really intending to do. But don't be disheartened because this, if this happens to you, there's certain things that you can do to help tweak a design and completely change it up. Oh, and I did want to say I have sped some of the video up, so I don't normally work this fast on a creation. Okay, so I wasn't truly happy with this part. So I wanted to take some of it off because as I stood back and looked at the overall composition, I just felt that that area wasn't really speaking to me. So I wanted to create a little bit more of the negative space. I 
I think maybe I should have tweaked that area a little bit more. But instead, I almost look at the whole creation now and I'm blowing out each side. I'm minimalizing the negative space. I actually think it's okay. So let me take you in for a closer look. But guys, I've got to be honest, it wasn't speaking to me. And I thought it was okay, but it wasn't something that I really loved. You know what I'm going to do, don't you? You know that after I've shown you this close up, I'm going to change it a little bit. So I thought, how about doing some balloon dips within the creation, just to kind of show some further detail. So I take my balloon and I basically dip it in each of the areas. I add a little bit more detail. I look at the balloon as it raises off the surface and I wipe the balloon with the excess paint. I go across the whole of the creation with my balloon. And I am thinking to myself at this point, maybe I shouldn't have done this. I'm not sure this is really working because this isn't really what I had in mind. So what should I do next? I've used my balloon and I kind of think to myself, I really like the colours that I'm working with. So maybe this would look good as a mixed up base colour before I do another creation on top. So I'm going to continue just mixing some of those colours as you can see. I then think to myself, how about if I add a little bit of detail with my finger? So just drawing in some finger designs to add some movement within the piece. But guys, I don't like it. And cue the shouting. I know you're saying to me, what are you doing? Don't swipe the canvas. But I'm going to swipe the canvas. I'm not going to scrape my canvas because I'll tell you why. I really liked the colours and I did really like the colour palette that I was using. So that colour is still underneath the swipe that I've just taken part in. I'm going to take my balloon and I'm going to do some balloon dips over the top. And I'm also going to use a comb to add some lines and then just see what happens next. So what I've done is I've created some really detailed texture and design on the base of a canvas. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my paints up. Again, I've sped this up. I don't normally work this fast. <laughs> and I'm going to layer my paints in the middle. And then I'm going to take my blow dryer and blow out the design. So I think I've made it a little bit more interesting. It's not just one colour on the base, it's a mixture of colour, a mixture of technique. So let's see how this turns out. And please let me know. In fact, I know you're going to let me know what you think of this. Would you have stopped? Would you have completely scraped your canvas so you had a solid colour on the base? Or maybe I've given you an idea of something to do in the future. If you're found in the same situation as me where... You kind of like it, but it's not really speaking to you. Let me know in the comments below if you would have done the same thing or how you would have done this differently.
this part really is just about blowing out the top color and looking at the overall composition. I'm really happy with how the base turned out because when I take you in for a close up, you're gonna see such detail to this. Okay, I'll admit this is quite a busy creation, but I think it's really unique and I'm really happy that I was able to take a couple of different techniques to make this piece an evolving flower surprise. And that's what I'm gonna take away from this. I didn't give up, I just had a bit of fun, worked with some techniques I was comfortable with and experimented. And actually, I quite like this version. I think some of you might say, no. We liked the version before, and that's okay. We're all individual, we all like different things, and that's what I love about fluid art. I think we're all gonna see something very different in the pieces, especially in this piece that I've created. But let me know what you think. I think this is such a good color palette to kind of have fun with. This piece dried beautifully, so let me show you the dry version now. It's fully varnished, it's hanging on my wall. This piece is available to buy, as are all my pieces. Actually, that's something that I should probably mention a lot more. All the pieces that I do design, unless they're a commission, are available to buy. So if you're interested, just drop me a message. And if you live overseas, so as you know, I'm in the UK, I can get you an international shipping quotation. Thank you all so much for your support. This has been a little bit different, this one, but I wanted to show you that it doesn't always go the way that we planned. And it's okay just to have a little bit of fun and experiment as you paint and as you create. Because you never know, if you change it up, switch to some different techniques within one piece, it can create something actually quite detailed and beautiful. Thanks all so much for your support and for watching today. And I hope to see you again real soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.